What's good? Brian Tong here, and the next big Apple product we're expecting this year is the new 2018 iPad Pro. And you all know, right, how much I've loved the 12.9 inch iPad Pro since day one. I mean, look at this, like, look at how beautiful this thing is. You've got like your comics, they look like popping. It's the 120 hertz ProMotion display. Nothing beats that thing, but there is still so much room for it to grow, and I'm really excited for this. So this video is everything we know and have heard about it before Apple's announcement. All right, the one thing we can pretty much guarantee is an all new design for the 2018 iPad Pro. We've seen all the renders that have come out. We've heard the rumors of no home button, face ID, and thinner bezels taking cues from the iPhone 10 design. But the biggest confirmation came from Gelherm Rambo and the discovery of an iPad icon found in the fifth beta of iOS 12 that shows a thinner bezel with no home button whatsoever and what's missing from the icon. There's notching to see here. There is no notch. And I'm not gonna lie, I love that. Now in a side-by-side -side of the two iPad icons from the iOS beta, you can clearly see the current iPad design compared to the new iPad Pro. Now the current iPad Pro line is still made up of the 10.5 and 12.9 inch display, but reports say Apple could be introducing an all new 11 inch model, bumping up the entry level iPad Pro in size while keeping the larger 12.9 inch model the same. And you know, I love that big screen iPad because I read comics, right? I watch movies on the go with it. It's like my travel buddy all the time. The thinner bezels and new form factor would help bring down the iPad Pro in physical size and weight. And that's only a good thing while, you know, I'm crossing my fingers that it still maintains the same battery life or gets even better with the all new rumored A12X processor and iOS 12 optimizations. Now there's still no word if the new iPad Pros will bring the first OLED screen to Apple's tablet, a purported leaked CAD design of the 2018 iPad Pro from OnLeak's Steve Hemistoffer indicates that the smart connector may be redesigned and relocated to the rear next to the port on the bottom. An alleged iPad Pro case leak even showed an opening in the same spot, but it's still kind of confusing because there's still a cutout on the long horizontal side where the current smart connector is located. Okay, so let's go back to that OnLeaks CAD design, which may or may not be accurate. It also features a design that takes us back to the iPhone 4 and 4S, quite honestly, one of my favorite designs of all time, with its sharper chamfered edges and stainless steel frame. It really gives off more of an industrial professional feel, something really that the Surface line has been able to capture with its design. You'll also see antenna lines on the top and bottom of the booty side of this iPad Pro as well. Now there's been rumors of the new iPad Pro also being the first iOS device to have a USB-C port and completely ditch the lightning connector. Now those rumors became more real after Steve Trown Smith revealed code in iOS 12.1's beta showed support for virtualized 4K external displays. No iOS device currently can support anything like that through just a lightning to HDMI adapter, but that could really point to the iPad Pro supporting the rumors that USB-C is coming and that has the capability to support 4K video output. Now the other big rumor lingering was Face ID for the iPad Pro that it may only work in portrait mode instead of landscape, which would be stupid. Trout Smith says the iOS 12.1 beta hints that Face ID will have built-in support for landscape orientation, meaning it should be able to unlock your iPad when it's horizontal. He also said it's likely been built into the update for the upcoming iPad Pros that are expecting to bring, guess what, Face ID. And this is one of those like small things that makes me happy. So if true, that's good Apple. Yeah! Mm -hmm. But there is one thing they really need to fix in iOS 12 already that's just driving me nuts. In iOS 11, if you swipe from the bottom, you get access to all your open apps and your quick settings all in one single swipe. But now in iOS 12, you have to swipe from the top right hand corner to get your quick settings and then swipe from the bottom separately to see your open apps to close them. I mean, come on, who signed off on this crap? Like I get they're trying to emulate the iPhone 10, but they made the iPad Pro less efficient, right? The iPad Pro has unique features like split screen and multitasking specifically for it. And this is just an easy fix. So fix it unless you want me to throw a bad apple because uh, you know I'll do. Now, there's been a lot of talk for almost a year about a new Apple Pencil 2 with a higher fidelity and new software features that will enhance its use. Recent Apple patents show that the Apple Pencil 2 could even work on non-touch sensitive surfaces. Think of something like the Magic Trackpad to work with 3D or augmented reality apps on a Mac 
or doing something as simple as being able to record your movements from writing or scribbling on any surface and transferring them to a Mac nearby. And you know, I'm really looking for more of those software features that make this iPad Pro a unique device as Apple has finally, right, embraced making it its own thing. But before that, I think the number one thing that they need to do is make it attachable to the iPad Pro like the Surface does with its pen magnetically. I've already lost one before and you know, look, it rolls all over the place or you could even have some sort of a clip on it like a mechanical pencil does so you could attach it to your own clothes or you know, maybe you got a little pocket protector. Now, I know a lot of you watching are screaming as well. It still doesn't nearly do as much as a Surface and I've been the first one to say that since day one. So until Apple releases a hybrid OS, it never will be. And based on everything Tim Cook says, Apple's not going to do it, which feels like a huge opportunity loss. The other thing I'm still waiting to see, more pro apps from Apple, showing that you know they are really embracing the iPad Pro as a pro level machine, it's in the name. So where is the version of Logic? Where is Final Cut Pro? It has the power to handle this, and we know Adobe even. They're finally jumping on board and developing their Adobe suite after legit rivals like Affinity Photo. They've got their own professional photo editing and their suite of apps that has completely taken Adobe's lunch. It's honestly taking so much time for pro-level apps to get here. We're still waiting for more, but the iPad Pro, even with its limitations, is still a device that does a bunch of unique things, and I love it. Now, there have been no leaks for pricing, but I expect it might even jump up higher with the Face ID and the new design. The current entry level 12.9 inch starts at 799, but it jumps up quickly when you add more storage. So that's everything we know right now. The 2018 iPad Pro is expected to be announced by the end of this year. So let's recap it, right? No home button, Face ID, a thinner bezel design, a new processor, USB-C, and updates to the software and a potentially new Apple Pencil too. Like, think of all of this stuff together. I get a little giddy just saying all that. And you know what? I hope the fruit guys deliver with the new iPad Pro. Do it for me, guys, all right? Now, if you like this video, you know what to do. Thumbs up, subs up, and hit that notification bell. Ding! So you know when I drop the next video in your pants. And if you want to dive even deeper inside the world of Apple, check out my weekly audio podcast. It's the Apple Bits XL, and you can support the podcast and all the work that I'm doing independently at my Patreon at patreon.com slash Brian Tong. All right, we're ready to roll. Thanks so much for watching. iPad Pro coming soon. Take care. Be safe. Peace.